how to do ring final circuit testing in under three minutes. Let's get into it. After carrying out safe isolation, we disconnect the line, the CPC and the neutral. Zero the leads and connect the crock clips like this so you don't go through the springs. Hit up the zero button so you're starting from naught. Step one, connect your crock clips onto the line conductor and remember we're measuring little r1. That gave us a reading of 0.3 ohms. Connect the crock clips onto the neutral to get your little rn, which gave us a reading of 0.28 ohms. Now connect your crock clips onto the CPC to get your little r2. That's given us 0.28 ohms. We can now calculate our expected big R1 plus big Rn and big R1 plus big R2 readings using these formulas. Little R1 plus little Rn divided by 4 gives us big R1 plus big Rn. Little R1 plus little R2 divided by 4 gives us big R1 plus big R2. And these are our expected big R1 plus big Rn and big R1 plus big R2 readings. Step 2 of ring final circuit testing and we need to cross connect our line and neutral conductor to get our big R1 plus big Rn. We cross connect the out of the line to the in of the neutral and the out of the neutral to the in of the line. We need to break out the breakout lead and connect in our neutral probe. We can zero the breakout lead using this springy clip thingy or use a 20 pence piece, apparently. Connecting to socket one and hitting go gives us a reading of 0 0.12 ohms. The next outlet is 0 0.13 ohms. Socket two is 0 0.14 ohms on both outlets. Socket three also gave us 0 0.14 ohms on both outlets. That means all the readings are within 0 0.05 ohms of each each other which is just perfect. Time for step three and we're testing big R1 plus big R2. So we need to change over to line in connected to CPC out and CPC in connected to line out. And don't forget to swap over the probe and re-zero your breakout lead with that springy clip thingy. Socket one is 0.13 ohms and on outlet two it's 0.12 ohms. Socket two is 0.12 ohms on both outlets. And lastly socket three is 0.12 ohms on both outlets again. You can now record the highest reading of your R1, R2 on your schedule of test results. And check out the video me and Gary did on the ultimate guide to ring final circuit testing. Link in the comments.